Hello, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Becky and I make videos all about van life, minimalism, holistic health and slow living. And Mel is my partner from Big Van Small World. Say hello, Mel. Hello, Mel. And his challenge today is to do a few adjustments on my van because we did this van together last summer of 23. It's now May 24. And we have got a hatch there that's underneath the mattress. And basically we underestimated how heavy the mattress was and how big the door was. Because if we want to get into our electric box area there, we can't because we can't lift the lid up. So Mel is busy making some adjustments. We've got this bad boy to go in. Oh, hang on, let's, let's just Mel's got the original power pack that I had in the van. He's taken that out, so, so that's this is the little one. His original power pack. Yeah. This is the Bluetti something or other. AC one eighty. Is it? AC one eighty. There you go. See, this is the AC that's my little baby. Um, and the big daddy one behind is what Mel's attempting to put in my van now. Replace it with the AC two forty. The big motherfucker. <laughs> Because this one has got a 12 volt 30 amp outlet, which is perfect for anyone wanting to put a power pack in a camper van. Yes. The problem is, Bluetti haven't actually got the cable for this yet. Start again. So I am going to make my own cable for this because there are no cables for the Bluetti AC240 in the entire European nation. <laughs> So I'm going to make me own. Yeah, he's got his head torch on. Oh, he's been down in the mine. He's fitted the new Bluetti. Doesn't she look beautiful? He's hardwired in. 12 volt 30 amp. The, that's it. And um, we've got my AC plug sockets on the right yeah, there. These two plugs. One goes to sockets at the back and one goes to sockets. This one goes to plug sockets at the, above your kitchen. Yeah, so over there behind the mattress. <laughs> for your induction cooktop. Yes, and then he's put in the fridge so that it will never cut out. And we've just had a look at the app on the Bluetti and it's pretty fun, so... Yeah, such. it's better than mine. Yeah. Much better than mine. Better than the AC200. Yeah. But they're all good, but this one's yeah. particularly good because you can be much more in-depth with stuff, can't you? Yeah, where this this one... This is the AC240, but I've just realised it hasn't got the ability to charge via the alternator whereas the ac200 max you can get the i think it's called a charge enhancer which you can hardwire to your battery to charge it directly from the alternator but this one doesn't have that so oh, come right. on bluey sort yourselves out yeah because then it's, we wouldn't even have to have any of that under the seat there uh, so, so i would like to see somebody produce a power pack with not only just the 12 volt 30 amp outlet for us camper van builders but also the ability to hardwire it to the engine main battery so that when you start your engine the power pack charges directly from the alternator rather than those little plug sockets that plug in the cigarette light or thing because they're only i think something like 10 amps and you'd, you'd have to drive from here to scotland to charge that up yeah it's not sustainable so it's using a cigarette light socket it yeah. works i mean you can charge them using a cigarette light socket but where that cigarette lighter socket plugs into the power pack is also the same port you plug your solar panels into. Yes, you can't have so both. So you can't have both of them at the same time. Yeah. Whereas, ideally, living in a van, you want the option of both. Yeah. You charge when you drive, and then when you park up, it continues the charge from whatever from light you have. Yeah. yeah. So you want a solar input 
and an alternator input as well. Yeah. Two, two input ports we need plus the 12 volt 30 amp. So with that being said, it's quarter to seven. Mel's done a fantastic job this afternoon just getting me sorted and rewiring everything. We've just got to fill in that hole with uh, a piece of wood that we're just going to leave free so that I can just pull it out when I need to access it. Tomorrow's a new day, so we're going to alter these cupboards because these, unfortunately, even though they're really pretty, they are really not helpful everything falls out and falls onto the bed or onto the floor so it's not practical so we're going to have to change these into um drawers just much like these and we've just got to sort out the inverter issue which we still don't know why it shit itself but we will see you in the morning good night say good night mel good night mel <laughs> oh and by the way we're thinking of staying the night in this van aren't we yeah could Good be my lucky night. It could be his lucky night. We're actually going to sleep in here for the first night and test out everything because we haven't had power working for quite some time. We haven't actually taken this van out to drive and to test it, so Mel could be in for a treat. <laughs> first, before any of that, I've got to fill that great big hole up so you can put the mattress back in. Yeah, I did just say that. Oh, did you? Yeah. I won't listen to this yeah. again. I'll never listen again like that. <laughs> He's on his own little in his own little world. So yeah, Mel's gonna do that quick and then we're gonna put the bed back and settle down for the night. So it's about 20 minutes later, made the bed. Monty's made himself nice and comfortable. I've just got our pillows and bedding all in the van ready. Put the curtains up, cause I had to re-sew one of them. Just gonna set up ready for sleep and uh, start fresh in the morning. I'm actually really excited to sleep in the van finally after all this time because there's just been a couple of things that just need to be tweaked so that we can actually stay in here because if we've got no power then that's you know it's not a deal breaker but it means that we can't do anything uh, including the lighting so yeah we needed to get that sorted before we could actually stay in here once for all so yes super happy good night we're on the other side <laughs> look at you <laughs> Is this the first time he's been in? Yeah. Oh, I hope you're going to be all right, mate. He'll be all right, won't he? Oh, look, you're frightened. No, all right. He's all right. He's all right, yeah? Oh, all right, well, good luck. He's going to love that. Oh, no, he's trying to get out. He's all right. Oh, dear. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, yeah. oh, how did you go with that? I'm not sure that was that much of a success, was it? You look like you're trying to get out. <laughs> oh, mate. Your daddy went to all this travel to buy this fantastic bike. Would you, would Sorry? You, was he trying to get out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not keen, are you? Come on. Might have taken a couple of times. Oh, there we go. Yeah, He's ready. Go. Good boy. Good. That hold was back, good, hold, mate. Hold back, back, hold it's all right. He's going to go up. He's, he actually can't wait to get away. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, he's like, I want to go exploring somewhere else. <laughs> like, no, Dad. I don't want to go back in there. You're not a fan, mate. He's running to go back in the house. Yeah, but first try him. Mm. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. I can choose of other places that would be nice, but yeah. Well, good morning everyone we're back at the van and yes mel is already at it he's trying to figure out how to get the inverter back out of the van no i'm trying to figure out why it don't work oh trying to figure out why it don't work so that thing don't work <laughs> at the moment <laughs> 
So Mel and I spent the night in this van and we've come up with two floors. Because <laughs> at the, about three o'clock this morning, we abandoned ship and went back to sleep in Mel's van because I couldn't stand being in the bed any longer. <laughs> A, the mattress is too thin because my hips were really hurting me. B, I couldn't turn over because I was slammed up against that back board there. So we need to essentially have the two extra bits of um, mattress that I did cut out but haven't put in the van so that we can use the pull out so we can sleep lengthways in the van instead of crossways because crossways it don't work. Also we need to try and get some airflow through because although we love the skylight we didn't have much breeze or air. Maybe that's partly because we slept in the barn or maybe it's because I need to install some fans so that there's a through breeze but more on that later. So we've had the van running, we've done lots of checks. Mel has been underneath the driver's seat and found that the fuse has gone, which was why the inverter isn't working. So we checked on the app with the Bluetti and there is power going to the inverter. So thankfully the inverter isn't broken. It was just the fuse that went. So Mel's rejigged the wiring and attached the inverter to a different area. So it's not going to be a problem in the future. So we're just leaving the van running and it's perfect timing actually because we've just had to move the van over a little bit. Mel's just moving out outside because Craig and Judith are taking their van out for an MOT. So fingers crossed for them today. Hopefully it all goes well because if it's successful and the van passes, they will be heading to van life this weekend. But sadly, if it doesn't pass, they're not going to be able to come and make it. So fingers crossed for them and we wish them all the best because they've worked so tirelessly and so hard on getting this camper back into their amazing new dream. While it's nice and quiet, would you tell us what you've been doing? I've been helping everyone else in the barn except you. <laughs> <laughs> have days like this where I get absolutely... Thank you. That's all right. You're welcome. I get absolutely nothing done. Because all I'm doing is running around off with everyone else. I have a large red cable and I'm trying to fit off a small connector. <laughs> 3,000 gigawatt inverter to power your Bluetti AC240. Exactly. Hello, Kalia. Hi. Well, don't film me, my hair's disgusting. <laughs> now, can I pretty, pretty please borrow an axis? <laughs> yeah, up there. Go the for it. The first one's up there. Yeah, they're the three-turn ones. Just this one. Wait, wait. doing an amazing oh, job. No. <laughs> <laughs> Being the garage girl today. Yeah. Where are you going? Either that or it's slave labour, because your dad's well, just making you work. <laughs> child labour. Yeah. yeah. You can do anything now, Kalia. You've been taught it all. <coughs> oh, hello. This is going to be entertaining. Right. Yeah. Promise not to take you down. Yeah, please don't. I've already got a one dent in there. There you go. There you go, Smoothie. Oh, 
There we go. <laughs> Ta -da. It definitely is the big guns. Perfect. Oh, how's that? Well, the fact that it's passed, but they it's say it's perfect. perfect. Oh, well done. Yeah. All your so hard the guy work. said, the guy said to me, "Oh, we got one here. We got one here because we saved it." And then, but he, he said he, he couldn't find it. Absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, well, I once it's all chat. done, once it's all done, it's going to be the dog bollocks. Yeah. Yeah. The main oh. thing is, you know, you can rely on it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the main yeah. thing. As, as long as you put fuel in it. Sure. Well, yeah. you know, if you put fuel in it, it will start. Apparently, it will start if you put fuel in it. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, <laughs> shall I? Oh, yeah. They were really quite wearing yeah. it. Structurally, She's like, yes, it's passed, but I can't get out. <laughs> so, what does it say? Does it say pass on it? No, we've got to get to there, haven't we? Is it on the other side? Because I only did it on the side drum. Hang on. Oh, what can you just Stone. Well, there's no excuses now for the. Uh... Oh, you can go to the fan fest. Yeah. Adrian's hugging the van. So when you film, how long after you edit it? Um, well, this one's going to go out tomorrow. This one? Yeah. I've got to do it tonight. Yeah. Uh, so bless Kalia, her dad has got her working hard underneath the van, learning all about the vehicle. Would you want a career as a mechanic, Kalia? Oh, it's not for me, it's not the life. No, no. Something with animals then? Absolutely. Do you want a husky dog? Husky? No, I want a staffy. A staffy, oh right, okay. I'm going to adopt so many animals. I want goats and ferrets. Ferrets? <laughs> goats and ferrets. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Right, that's the filter. And then... Is there, there, is there a symbol to show a sump? Oh, you've got a nice black ear. Do I actually? <laughs> <laughs> I just washed my hair last night. This is going to be... Wow. <laughs> I like the blue. I don't think it's better than any you don't? I don't. Well, you do think it? Yeah. In what way? Well, it depends what it's for, like, for events. This goes to mirror. <laughs> if you're at an event, you just, you just, yeah. you don't have to keep going. Right? <laughs> I was going to, it's only a plain one. I was going to get you a, um, like one with writing on it and that, and I was going to pick a sight to on it, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. You look like a chicken oh, yeah, in the yeah. chicken oh, shed. Yeah. I was going to get him the pinny that you wanted as well. <laughs> Definitely get him a pinny. Well, I was going to. Yeah. yeah. Like that's better because the other way you look like a chicken. First thought next time you do some cooking, you can fix your chef mail hat. I was going to get it all embroidered, but it took like, forever for it to come through. <laughs> <laughs> So we're all playing musical vans because Craig and Judith's van passed the MOT and now everyone's moving their vans in. So Jez is currently getting Joe's van in because it's leaking and it's raining. Then we've got um, ads to come in and we've got to then move our van. So after playing musical chairs for a little bit, we jumped into our vans, headed back over to Stroud, packed up the vans and are ready for van life. See you there.